Welcome back to the Snack Tech World Headquarters, where I risk burning down the house to drop our latest product, the Snack Tech Home Mini Mod Line in and out. Whoa, here they are! Hot off the presses! This is Air Duster. It's also Flamethrower! I'm melting the nozzle. Don't do this at home. Wow, that was exciting, but I guess I also have to introduce to you the required accessory for this awesome SnackTech.com. Woo, SnackTech.com! And that is the, uh, that's just the Google Home Mini, you know. So you're gonna need one of those. So, just to recap, if you didn't see the previous promotional video, we are the world's leading and only providers of home and home mini mod accessories. You can turn these bad boys into more than just an autistic home assistant. You can make these do anything! Enough hyperbole. With this Nectic Home Mini mod, you can attach an external microphone, line in, or any other thing, a pre-recorded message from your computer, anything you want, and you can have a external speakers. So we've had snack techers use these for all kinds of things. We have people using these to control their music from outside. We have people using this to integrate into their gamer chats. Woo! Uh, yeah, I've been uh, I've been drinking too much. I need to put down, put away the booze. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to show you the end result here. We've got the mod kit plugged in. We've got uh, Google Home Mini here. We've got the wires coming out. You can see it's just coming at the bottom. And we're just going to plug it in and uh, see if it works. Plug in the uh, Home Mini. It's booting up now. And what we're expecting to see is, in a few seconds, this LED on the mod kit. So I've already got my laptop plugged in here uh, for, the, uh, for the line in. And I've got my... Headphones plugged in the line out over here. The laptop has a pre-recorded message. Hey Google, tell me a joke. And as you can see, nothing happened because it's not plugged in yet. I'm gonna plug the laptop into the auxiliary. Now we're gonna play the recording and see what happens. We can see uh, I didn't say anything. And now I'll hold the my headphones up. You hear that? Let me play it again. So I didn't say anything. And now you can hear holding my headphones up to the speaker, up to the microphone of the camera. So hopefully you heard that joke. Hopefully it was good. I don't even know what it was. But that is the line in and line out kit. Now, if you continue watching, I'll show you how I did it. Um, this line in line out kit is available on the uh, Snack Tech online shop. So the way this works is it's really simple. All you have to do is go buy a brand spanking new Google Home Mini and start tearing it apart and cutting and soldering and installing the home mini mod and I will this video is going to serve as an instructional <clears throat> instruction manual on how to do this the first thing we want to do is open up your home Google home mini packaging and you could tear it open and uh, do it the regular way with scissors or something but I I thought let's burn the crap out of this since we have the uh, flamethrower here woo on fire it's on fire all right uh oh uh oh burning a whole mini just for you come on this is like the iphones that dropping off the top of the building look i could have i could have easily burned the inside there there we go all right here we go oh look it already has soot on it i'm gonna send it back now i already uh posted a video on how to crack open this sucker so you better go head on over there here we are. i think this we've got the speaker taken out this is where the other video ends uh but we have to go further okay we got to take out the circuit board under here All right, got all the screws loose. Now we just gently pull up, pull up gently, and uh, there we go. We're going to want to get this uh, circuit board out. Oh, so just pry it up. Don't really want to be pulling on this uh, cable here. You know, you don't pull a dog by its tail because it's going to bite you. you. Pull this by its tail, it's going to rip on you. So. Yep, I'm going to be desoldering the microphone there and there. Those are gone. I'm going to get the hot air going out. And we're going to want to slide that microphone right there. See that little, little mic right there? I'm going to slide it just right off. Put it over every few seconds. Don't let it get too hot. These things get very hot. Try to localize. Try not to touch the other components. Don't touch what you're not supposed to touch. These days you get a lot of trouble for that. Look at that camera work. Can you believe it? Look at that. That's what we want. So you see the lid coming off. We don't care about that. Look at that. I'm not going to try it, but if you knock off this little black guy here... Ooh, that sounded wrong. Um, 
if you knock off this black uh, black chip here, I can't guarantee that your uh, volume up and volume down buttons are going to work anymore. All right, the next step is every Snack Tech uh, kit comes with some silicone, some uh, some nice silicone wire because we love silicone around here. Okay, it's uh, it makes it makes things better. Okay, it it really enhances. So what we're going to do is we're going to be connecting these wires to these pads here. We're going to call this brown, white, red, and purple. Purple is going to connect to this pad. That's the data for the digital microphone. The, the red is really orange, but call it a red. It's going to connect to this pad. That's the power, and that's going to be powering our Snack Tech mod kit. The white is going to connect to this pad. That's the clock, and then the brown is the ground return path that's going to connect to, uh, to this uh, circular pad right here. So um, I'd recommend connecting on this side to this microphone. Um, because it's closer to the to the plug here, which means your wires will be coming out of the same place if you're gonna also do the line out mod. Let's start stripping. Okay, we got silicone, we got strippers, you know, it sound like a party. Now, if this process uh, sounds daunting, which it might if you're not, uh, you don't have a little bit of experience uh, soldering, uh, you can always have us do this mod for you. You can check the website for the current price and we will do this whole mod and uh, send it over your way for not too much money, so you can you can try that. Then you don't have to worry. You can have the peace of mind that it's going to work. Now we're doing the orange, the, the power. Okay, that wasn't too bad. We want to make sure there aren't any shorts or anything, and it looks good. Now this is going to be relatively fragile. If you're not putting it back in the case, uh, you should probably put a dab of epoxy uh, on there. And you know how much I love epoxy, so <laughs> better put some on there. But I think what we're going to do is put some epoxy once it's back together. That way we'll be sure that it fits. So the next step is to install the speaker wire mod. And I'm just going to cut off. We're not going to be using the speaker at all. We're going to have to lengthen this little pigtail in order to connect it to the mini mod. Is you got to bust out the strippers again. And we're going to put some heat shrink tubing, which I didn't include in the pre-orders. But every kit from now on will include two bits of heat shrink tubing. Okay, and now we just solder on. And then always put on a rubber. So we're going to have, we have two even. I'm going to put on two rubbers just to be extra safe. Bring the heat in and shrink it up. There we go. Okay, the mod is essentially done. All we have to do now is attach it to the circuit board. The, let's see, uh, the connections are labeled. Just have to connect the, uh, the uh, orange, purple, white, and brown. And then from the speaker, the, the brown and the red. So at this point, you would solder up this board onto here. And I'll tell you the connections. Coming from the microphone, you connect the red, purple, white and brown and then coming from the speaker terminal you connect the brown the brown and the and the orange okay so and then you would try it out uh, turn everything on make sure it's working uh, so then you would plug in your line in uh, from your phone record a voice message or something and uh, plug in a aux cable into your phone to try it out and uh, then the line out goes to your speakers so you can hear what's going on in here. So here's what I here's how I recommend putting it back together. And then these wires need to come around. So the easiest thing to do is to cut a is to just use your snippers and just cut a channel. So all right, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, Snack Techers. Uh, see you next time, and you better stay snacked.